Hello and good day, welcome to our YouTube channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast, concise overview. Book of Jeremiah, Chapter 2. Let's get started now. This chapter is an important part of the larger book of Jeremiah, and it contains powerful lessons and teachings that are still relevant to our lives today. Chapter 2 begins with God speaking to Jeremiah saying, Go and proclaim in the hearing of Jerusalem, Thus says the Lord, I remember the devotion of your youth, your love as a bride, how you followed me in the wilderness, in a land not sown. Jeremiah 2 verse 2 ESV God is reminding the people of Israel of the love and devotion that they had for him in the past, and calling them back to that same level of faithfulness. But the people have strayed from their devotion to God, and the rest of the chapter details the ways in which they have turned away from him. God accuses them of two major sins, they have forsaken him and turned to idols, and they have broken the covenant that he made with them. The first sin is idolatry, which was a major problem for the Israelites throughout their history. God says, They did not say, Where is the Lord who brought us up from the land of Egypt, who led us in the wilderness, in a land of deserts and pits, in a land of drought and deep darkness, in a land that none passes through, where no man dwells? Jeremiah 2 verse 6 ESV The people have forgotten the God who saved them from slavery in Egypt, and have turned to worshipping false gods instead. This sin of idolatry is still prevalent today, although it may take different forms. We may not bow down to physical idols, but we can still put other things above God in our lives. Money, success, relationships, and even technology can become idols if we allow them to take the place of God in our hearts. We must be vigilant to ensure that we are always putting God first in our lives. The second sin that God accuses the people of is breaking the covenant that he made with them. God says, For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed out cisterns for themselves, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Jeremiah 2 verse 13 ESV The people have turned away from God's provision and protection and have instead relied on their own strength and wisdom. This sin of self-reliance is still a problem for us today. We may think that we can handle everything on our own, without the help of God or others. But this kind of thinking is a trap, and will ultimately lead to disappointment and failure. We must remember that God is the source of all good things in our lives, and we must rely on Him for our strength and wisdom. In addition to these sins, the rest of the chapter details the ways in which the people have turned away from God and pursued their own desires. They have become like a wild donkey, running here and there in search of pleasure and fulfillment. Jeremiah 2 verses 23 to 24. But God calls them back to himself, saying, Return, faithless Israel, declares the Lord. I will not look on you in anger, for I am merciful, declares the Lord. I will not be angry forever. Jeremiah 3 verse 12 ESV The overarching message of this chapter is that God is faithful and merciful, even when we are faithless and disobedient. He calls us back to himself, and offers forgiveness and restoration when we turn to him. We must be willing to confess our sins and turn away from them, just as the people of Israel were called to do in this chapter. We must also be careful not to allow anything to take the place of God in our lives, and must rely on Him for our strength and wisdom. The teachings and lessons from the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 are still applicable to our lives today. We must examine our hearts and make sure that we are not putting anything before God, and must be willing to repent and turn back to Him when we have strayed. We must also be willing to rely on God for our strength and wisdom instead of relying on ourselves or the things of this world. In conclusion, the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 contains powerful lessons and teachings that are still relevant to our lives today. God calls us to be faithful and obedient, and to put Him first in our lives. When we turn away from Him and pursue our own desires, we must be willing to confess our sins and turn back to Him. May we all strive to live in accordance with God's will, and may we always put Him first in our lives. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help our channel grow. 
Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.